Now we were going to discuss a few issues about how to find a resolution proof or if you want to automate the finding resolution proof, what you need to worry about. So let's look at the implementation issues. A proof method implicitly defines a non-deterministic proof search. You are given proof rules, you know how to make moves, but you really don't know how to apply in what sequence. Uh, the proof rule such that you get to your desired goal. In this case, you have an empty clause. In implementing such an algorithm, which is inherently non-deterministic, one needs to ensure that one is not doing unnecessary work. Something you can cut it out very quickly, you can see that this work is not going anywhere or this is being replicated somewhere else. Now we only worry about single rule. We may be more effective in finding improved strategies since we need to worry about only one rule. We will discuss some simple observations that may cut huge search spaces. And this discussion is a preview of much detailed discussion about SAT solvers because at the end SAT solvers will be using resolution proof system to really solve uh, uh, formulas. So uh, first thing to observe in theorem 9.2 is that if you have a clause C and D okay and d is a strictly smaller set than c and false can be derived using c i mean you you can derive uh, the falsehood without using d then it can be derived using d if clause c is superset of clause d then c is redundant that's what this theorem implies let's see by an example will make it very clear why uh, that is the case let's suppose you have these set of clauses okay this is a long clause and there's a short clause okay and my claim is the long clause is redundant because the d long clause is superset of the short clause okay? let's see if is there is a proof of false using uh, using these long clauses yes it is if you take q, q resolve with not q or r you resolve these two things you get r and r and not r gives you false now what do we do is that we can replace this thing by the shorter proof so if i remove this thing by replaced by r then this resolution becomes useless because uh, uh, q need not be removed you can directly get here and then r and not r gives you false and that is what is happening here so shorter clauses give you faster way to uh, get to the empty clause so you want shorter clauses if a clause contains both uh, p and not p then the clause is valid right so this we have seen in the previous uh, discussion also uh, if valid clause contributes in deriving false the descendant must participate in some resolution step with pivot p i mean uh, if a valid clause contributes to deriving false then the some point of time you want to remove p and not p both of them right the resolution step is counterproductive i.e resolvent is superset of some antecedent okay so let's see by example okay so let's suppose you have a p or c and uh, you apply not p or p or d in the resolution this one has both p and d and uh, when you resolve this let's say p and not p you get p or c or d okay you can see that this clause is superset of this clause so at the end of the day uh, p was not removed from this step okay so anything can be derived from here can be derived from there okay so why uh, bother keeping this clause around this clause will do perfectly fine so this resolution step is completely useless therefore don't do it so as soon as you discover valid clauses ignore them or don't produce them check them before pure literals if a literal occurs in cnf formula and its negation does not then it is called a pure literal okay? the removal of clauses containing the pure literals in cnf preserves satisfiability so how do we understand this okay so since you have a uh, one direction let's say p is there but not p is nowhere in the formula how are you going to get rid of this p so there is no not p there's no way you can resolve that okay so these clauses which have this pure literals cannot contribute to unsatisfiability at all so you just need to ignore them another optimization which is called unit clause proposition in which if you find a literal l in uh, in your uh, cnf which is singleton then you can easily remove not l from everywhere because this little has to be true wherever not l is appearing you can simply say this 
and uh, not l has to be removed because it is clearly false it cannot make this clause true so therefore you start operating with the and in resolution terms this resolution you are doing as soon as you find l you aggressively apply everywhere not l or d and you get d this is a strictly smaller clause and that is good because we want the clause to become shorter and shorter if any resolution helps you to get strictly smaller clause just go ahead and do it